What's good? This is Noah from High Snob about to check out Extra Butter, where Jeff Staple is dropping his legendary Pigeon SB. Today's the first day of Jeff Staple's pop-up at Extra Butter, where he redesigned it. It looks like Reed Space, his classic retail store that closed last year, but it's under construction to let all of his fans know that it will be back soon. This line is nuts, by the way, as you would imagine. Black Pigeon SB. Obviously, man. And how long you been waiting in this line? Um, I've been here since like seven o'clock yesterday. Seven o'clock yesterday? Yeah. I was out there first fifteen. I got response. Wow, man. So how long you been waiting in this line? Uh, since like two thirty a.m. First time trying to get you know some SB lows. Yeah. Yeah. And are you an SB guy? Not really. I'm here. I'm, I'm a hype beast. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. Respect that. Hype beast gang. Thank you, man. What's your name? Name's Tariq. Tariq, what's good, man? Don't call me Storm, All which right. is my middle name. And uh, when you get these black pigeons, are you selling them or are you keeping them? Why would I sell them? No, I'm keeping them. I will just wear the crap out. I skate. Really? Yeah. I've been skating for like since I was a little kid. They're Nike SBs, people. I'm not going to sell them. They're my goddamn sneakers. I own them. If only I get the W. Respect, dog. Thank you, bro. I just want you to really understand. When cats bring chairs, that's real. <laughs> now we're inside, as you can see. It's pretty calm right now. The madness has not started yet. See, they brought back the OG pink SB box. These kind of sneakers, man, and if you know, back to 05, dude, there were people waiting out line with knives, machetes, ready to really rough up these young kids just trying to get their hands on sneakers, man. Hopefully this uh, reignites the flame, man. Like, I feel like SBs have really been around. It's turned into like a wine industry now. It's only if you're really a connoisseur do you care about SBs, man. Like, SBs just be popping, yo. Popping. So we're here with number four in line, man. How special are these shoes to you, man? Real special, these shoes, man. Oh, man. Got these Masai's got a t-shirt as well. Nice, nice, nice. I'm excited. So much like, this is like New York's sneaker. Without a doubt, this is the first sneaker that really caused people to go and resell. This is the first sneaker that made people go crazy, man. So for him to redrop, this is a really big deal. That's why everybody's here. It's also really interesting. This is the first time that I've been talking to a lot of people and none of them are reselling these. Everyone's holding on to these. That's really important. That's true dedication. You see my man's came through with the fit on, though. The real fit. The real, like, I do real things and I stop doing real things to wait in this line to come and get these shoes type on it. So the original SB came out in 05. It's 2017 and a lot of those kids were super young when the first one dropped. So how does it feel to have such a young audience come and get the re-release? It's dope. I mean, they're young and they're old. You know, they're black, they're white, they're Asian. Everyone's out here supporting you. Know, I think it's really, it's like a New York thing is what it is. You yeah. know? And when we were doing, the, when we were planning this drop, there's obviously like Sneakers app, there's obviously global releases, tier zeros, yeah. there's like Flight Club Stadium goods, right? But part of the strategy that me and Nike really wanted to do was to bring something back just for the New Yorkers. Just Pigeon, the mascot of New York City. Yeah. So we wanted to do something just for New York, and that's what this is all about. And, and do you hope that this sparks a, a new excitement for SBs? Um, I hope so, of course. Every project that I do, I hope it, it sparks interest in the brand, you know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, it's not my it's not my ultimate goal, you know, like my ultimate goal is to create this product, get it in the hands of these people in a safe way. Yeah. That's it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so we just left the pop-up. This is the exit. This is where people leave, so that's why it's not super crazy and congested. Um, it's crazy, man. There are people that are super old, young, like Jeff said, waiting in line for a shoe that dropped over 10 years ago, and there's still a demand for it. When you have good product, people stick to it. Uh, we got to speak to Jeff, as you heard. Reed Space is opening up 2018, so be on the lookout for that. And if you didn't get a chance to come to the pop out today, it will be here until the end of November. I'm Noah, Heisenbaity. Peace.